Okay, so you're going to college and RPI is one of your options. Great. So there's not a lot of videos about RPI when I first looked it up on YouTube and I just wanted to really emphasize my past points or and add some new points uh, to what I can make of from my experiences when I was an undergrad here, which I still am. I'm going to my senior year pretty soon. And let me talk about number one. If you know for sure that you want to do CS, you want to do engineering, that's good. Then RPI would be a really good choice for you. The, the computer science program is really what makes them shine. And that's really what a lot of kids do. And it's not a really bad choice if you really want to become a software engineer or if you want to do something with the web sciences, they have a good program for that one too. The engineering, I really only know about the engineers in my department, which is the computer systems engineering department, where I really wanted to do a little bit of hardware as well as a little bit of software. So basically, I can speak to the engineering department as well because their classes are extremely difficult. However, you're able to get a really good education out of it. it really teaches you how to learn to learn, if you get what I mean. Second of all, if you're like me from the city, New York City, and you want a change of scenery, RPI is the place that you want to go. There's not a lot to do here, but let me tell you, the trees are a lot more greener here than anywhere else in the city. And the air is a lot fresher. Maybe I'm just coping, but you shouldn't let that be the only reason. The, only, the top reason is that it's a good to your school and you want to do something software related or any computer science related, RPI is a really good school for that. However, you, if you want to do something else or if you're not sure about software, then I recommend looking elsewhere, but that's just my take on it. Third, if you really want to focus on school and not really have too much of a party life. I mean, there's parties here. You could go to parties if you really wanted to. But so I know some schools, let's say U University of Miami, they got crazy parties there. Don't, and if you don't want too much of a distraction, the RPI is a really good place to go because nine out of 10, the people you, that you talk to are either A, studying for a test, or B, complaining about how they failed their last test. A lot of tests, a lot of work, a lot of studying. Make sure you're ready for that. But at least, hey, at least you won't be distracted and you can keep your eyes on the main goal. And that's most of the pros that I've come up with. And the administration, I know people were complaining about it. Shirley and Jackson did some, didn't really help out too much for the administration, but the, under this new president, Marty Schmidt, I, I can tell that he's been putting a lot more work in and making sure that the students are getting the experience and education that they do deserve. Not sponsored by the way, but that's just my honest take on it. If you want to hear more about the cons, please drop a comment, like, I don't know anything, subscribe if you want to. 
and I look forward to speaking with you all soon. Bye-bye.